Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe we have seen a taxi from each Cars movie and from each country. Vern, Cars 1. Revne Golante, Cars 2, Radiator Springs. Bob, Pulley, Cars 2, Japan. Chauncey Furs, Cars 2, London. And of course, Fair Game, Cars 3. I think we're missing one from Italy. If we ever get one, if we have one, either I'm blanking. But yeah, wouldn't it be cool if we just had one already? I can't believe there's that many taxis in the world of cars that don't make any sense. Anyways, today we'll be taking a close look at Fair Game. As we all know, Fair Game is coming back out in 2023. If you don't have him, I'd highly, highly advise you that he get him in 2023 because Fair Game has skyrocketed in price. He is like almost 100 British pounds and is going for over $100 in the States. I can't believe it. I think it's because he's most wanted as he was the very, very last... Demolition Derby Racer to be released by Mattel. And uh, you've got to agree, he does look pretty cool. Anyways, here is his packaging from the 2020 Blue Desert Line. We can see his artwork here. There is the Cars logo. We can see the Thunder Hollow logo there. Fair Game, of course. Made by Mattel, 3+. Plus. And on the back, we can see some other cars. Jambalaya, Liability and APB. And a little movie scene, of course, at the Demolition Derby. It's Crazy 8 Night at the Thunder Hollow Speedway. There is some other information on the back if you want to pause and read, of course. And that is the packaging for Fair Game, and I'll be right back with him all out of the box. Yes, Fair Game actually did receive a mini racer, as we can see on the left hand side of your screen. He does look pretty cool, actually. If you own it, you know what he looks like. But of course, he's basically the exact same compared to his Thailand release by Mattel. There is his mini racer. Now we will take a close look at the Fair Game diecast, of course, which looks pretty cool. And before we do, just to confirm, there is a screenshot of him being released in 2023. Of course, not in the packaging yet, but of course, only on the card back of, of course, like Noah Gocek and a few other Cars 3 characters. Yep, here he is. Of course, he's got a very nice smiling expression, of course, with the two teeth down there. Looks pretty, pretty cool. Very nice grill. Very nice expression as well. Got these smokestacks on the side. Got a checker flag pattern on his roof to indicate he is a racer. And of course, he is a taxi or used to be. Pretty cool. He is number 42. Crash only. Of course, maybe that means like cash only back when he was a taxi. And he decided to put the, of course, R in between the cash only. Makes sense for the demolition derby. Nice rims, of course, skull looking like rims. Checker flag pattern all along. Crash only once again on the back of the die cast, and he is slightly slanted. Here is the other side as well, if you are interested. Slightly different to the side I just shown because of the dents and chips, of course. And there is the base, if you are interested, made in the 46th week in the A factory in, of course, 2019 because he was released in. 2020 made in thailand and all the other information of course we do have some other taxis of course here's bob pulley the one from japan pretty cool we have revenue galante one of Vern's taxis of course we've seen in cars do at radiator springs we have Vern himself he really needs a Thailand re-release. It's been ages. I think our last release was in 2015. Even 2016. And of course, my favourite one, Chaunce Me Furs, because I get in one of these every few months or so. Very expensive, though, if you ever go to London. Even though it has a Japanese licence plate. Yeah, tell me down below, which is your favourite taxi release by Mattel so far? Mine is definitely fair game. I mean, he looks absolutely awesome. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. This is seven days in a row I've been uploading. Tomorrow, I will most likely be reviewing Rich Mixon, because why not? Till the next video, peace everybody.